Hey Taurus, this is EJ from Tarot Tarot. I hope everybody's having a good week. This is going to be the Taurus and Libra sitting in a tree, K-I-S-S-I-N-G, for April 2019. Two more shuffles. So this is going to be nine cards. We do three for recent past. We do three for current energy and three for future energy. We do one for overall energy and we do three for guidance from the universe. At the end, I will pull an oracle card from the Trust Your Vibe deck by Sonia Choke. This is for Taurus and Libra. And a reminder, I do my cards straight up. I don't do reversals. All right, Taurus and Libra, let's see what we got going on with y'all. From the bottom of the deck, Princess of Wands is your overall energy. So let's see what we got going on here. Taurus and Libra. So we got the Two of Wands. The Moon card. Tower. The Empress. Hierophant. Wow. The chariot, oh my goodness. Four of coins. Queen of cups. And the last card is the two of cups. Wow, this is strange. Alright, let's see what we got going on for Taurus and Libra. Looking at your overall energy with the Princess of Wands here. Uh, Taurus, you're feeling like somebody is being needy and spoiled. Feeling like your Libra is just asking and doing just a little too much. Uh, and that's your overall energy coming into this reading. And I, I can sense that real strong. You're just looking at them like, are you kidding? It's almost like they can't fix a cup of coffee without asking you how to turn the coffee maker on. And Taurus... <laughs> If that's really what's happening, I know you, you're hot. Because uh, you tourists don't like that. No, you, you cut the damn thing on. There's an on button on there somewhere. Find it. it. And that's exactly what's coming back to me. I don't know how many of you this is going to resonate with. I'm sure it's not going to be everybody. But for those of you that it is, buckle up. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say is buckle up. So looking at your recent past, and this is this is real recent. This is not uh, I'm not, I'm not stretching back to February even. This is maybe the first or second week in March. Um, you just felt like you needed to go back and start remanifesting something because whatever was going on between you and your Libra Taurus just wasn't happening. Some secrets came out. The moon card that changed the trajectory of this relationship, which in turn caused a tower moment. There you go. Um, and I get the sense, I'm, I'm, I'm real chill saying this. It's been a couple readings where I've been sitting here sweating. I've had butterflies in my stomach. I've been real anxious. But for this reading, it's real chill. I'm real calm. And I'm kind of getting a sense towards that. You are just kind of like, you know what? Do you. Get out of my life and do you. Um, with all of these major cards here, we're not just talking about day-to-day -day stuff. We're talking about things that are changing. Your outlook, how you're uh, processing your relationship with your Libra. So it looks like you guys at least temporarily split up. But your current energy, uh, and this is definitely resonating back to Taurus. I almost can't even pick up Libra real strong here. But for your, your current energy, Taurus, you're trying to find your self-worth. Does this hurt you on a level that just kind of shook your foundation? Although I'm not getting a sense that there was anything dramatic about it. There's no fighting, no big fat arguments. It's just shit that happened. And it really was almost like watching a silent movie because there really wasn't a lot of conversation going on. But this shook you. And this is where you are currently. You're trying to figure out, you know, how somebody could just snatch up 
your uh, security like that. But Taurus, it's all about you, baby. It's all about you. If you don't value yourself, nobody else will. That's just the bottom line. I know how you feel and I know how it feels when somebody just snatches the rug out from under you with some bullshit. So I'm, I'm getting back that maybe uh, there was a confession of sorts after something was found or seen. And that's where this power moment came from. And again, Taurus, this shook you. This is definitely Taurus because Hierophant is the Taurus card. Don't, don't let this situation scare you from commitment. The Hierophant in, in every day is about commitment. And, you know, the variations go from there, but they all are about commitment. In this day, it's about being ethical. So I'm going to guess whatever happened with you and your Libra, it was just dirty pool. And it didn't have to go down like that. And I understand that. But don't let that shake you from making a commitment ever again. Because this was just learning. It was just learning. And even though you may really love this person, really like this person, like being around this person, at the end of the day, if they can't treat you, you right and they got you looking in the mirror going, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, it's time to roll out. But don't let that shake you. Don't let that shake your commitment to being a good person. And don't let it shake your commitment to being a good person in your next relationship. Don't, don't get vengeful and spiteful because somebody did some crap to you. It's not worth it. At the end of the day, Chariot, both of y'all are going in your separate direction. Um, and if you've been kind of ducking and trying to steer away from dealing with this, even though you knew it was coming, it's here. Um, and from here, you get to your future energy, rightfully so, Taurus. You're going to be guarded. You're not going to want to do a whole lot of talking. You're going to throw up them emotional walls. And that's understandable. And you can do that. But don't stay there. Don't get stuck here. Um, you need to come out of that shell and get back to being your friendly, generous self. Get grounded. Um, and, and do what you do, Taurus. Do what you do. Even though this is a water card. This is, this is us too. We like to chill. So get here. This is really what you're striving for. You're striving to get here. If you can get here, somebody might be coming back to you. Just saying. But you're going to have to do this. You're going to miss the opportunity if you are still all rocked up in your head about some shit that went on last month. I'm just saying. And I know it sounds like it's fast and, you know, I need time to heal, blah, blah, blah. I get you. But, um, you got to shake this overall of, of just the, you know, I've been dealing with somebody that's needy. It almost makes you come off as being needy and spoiled. But that's the energy. That's the overall energy. And this is probably, I'm pretty sure, what you've had to contend with. So I'm telling you, don't give up on the commitment. That's your centerpiece card. This is all about commitment. Don't give up on commitment just because this did not work out. Don't, don't be so guarded. You need to get here. You need to get chill. If you're so guarded... You're going to miss this. You're going to straight ass miss it. Because you're going to be all bent out of shape on some shit that's gone. And you're going to miss this. Don't want to miss that. Let's see what the universe has for guidance for you, Taurus. Let me shake these up. There we go. Nine of coin. Two of coin. Five of cups. That's you, Taurus. First two, that's you. So, the universe is telling you it's okay to go back and start. Just start over. Start over. The soil is fertile. Just start over. You need to heal whatever you need to heal. This is about achieving higher goals, setting a higher standard. Um, and that's probably what all of this is about anyway. Probably dealing with somebody that wasn't just quite where you are, Taurus, and so they're not where you are, they're not doing what you're doing. 
So universe is telling you, keep creating that higher standard. Don't don't and don't lower your standards because um, you're fearful about what another outcome may be. Outcomes are never what we think they are. We blow it up in our heads and we make the shit worse than it actually is, but it never turns out that way. If you think about it, it never does. So let go of your fears and just continue to work on creating that higher standard. It will come. You want to manifest that relationship. It will come. Get some balance and don't be wishy-washy, Taurus. The, I know this energy now with Uranus and Taurus, Jupiter is getting ready to go retrograde. Mercury is not retrograde anymore, but it's going through its shadow period. You know, you don't know whether to smile or cry when you get out of the car. For real, get some balance, Taurus. Get some balance. Um, and don't try not to attract that unsure, wishy-washy energy. Try to be clear and what you want and what you're doing, universe is, again, telling you to keep creating that higher standard. Get some balance and don't get wishy-washy on no shit. And please, same thing, don't get stuck in the mud. If you get, if you're out of balance, Taurus, seriously, you will get stuck. And this, that's exactly, and these are cups, so this is emotional shit. You will get stuck in your emotions and you won't be able to move forward. And again, you don't want to miss this. You don't want to miss this. This is somebody, you may or may not know this person. And you, you may know them but don't know them. Um, and they may be coming back around. Uh, may have been somebody you worked with before. Or um, somebody you were in a group with before. However it's resonating for you. So don't miss this. Because you're sitting here with your lip poked out. Universe is saying, you don't have to do this. It's okay. They got you. Let's see what the oracle. Let's see what the oracle has. I'm just looking at your cards, Taurus. With your Libra. I'm so sorry. I really am. Um. The moon and the tower car next to each other, just it ain't in the chariot down here. Yeah. Um, and if it's time to go towards just if you haven't been having a whole lot of conversation about anything of any substance before now, it's no sense in trying to do it now. There's really no sense in trying to do it now. Just go ahead and get in the ride and walk away, ride away, skateboard, hoverboard away, whatever it is, and, and be done with it. Learn the lesson, get the blessing. And move on. That's the best you can do in a situation, especially if this person is not trying to communicate with you, if they're trying to keep everything a secret, um, if they're talking in cold half the time, you don't understand what they're saying, uh, or if they're not talking at all. However, this is working out. Move on. Just move on. Just move on. And messing around with an air sign, that's probably the best thing you can do. Just remember, it's not personal. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but and in just the way that I'm saying, before I pulled this card, I said if this person is not talking to you, <coughs> or if they're talking in alphabet soup cryptic mode, just move on. Just move on. And that's your current energy. Move on. Because it's not personal. And in that, it's not about you, Taurus. This is about the Libra. Whatever issues they're having, they can't be uh, faithful. They can't be trusted. This is not about you, Taurus. This is about them. So in this instance, I'm going to say, and I, you know, you're in love. If that's the case and your feelings are hurting, your butt's hurting, some more shit. But it's not personal. It's not personal. Uh, and just on another note, earth signs trying to deal with air signs. And I, I'm, I'm getting the crash. I'm in the master's class in this now. Trying to de deal with air signs. I can't say it's not a good mix because it really depends on what anybody has in their natal chart. You can be um, a Taurus and have so much Sagittarius in your chart, nobody would know you're a Taurus anyway. That said, um, 
air and earth doesn't really affect. If you go outside, I live in the desert. So when the wind blows here, it just blows the sand around. It doesn't make it wet. It doesn't set it on fire. It just kind of blows it around. And I think Taurus is like air signs because air signs are, are sometimes a little better able to get to their intellectual side than we are. We are so sometimes so practical and down to earth. People don't always see the intellectual side of us. You know, they just say, oh, she's, she just always says what she's feeling, don't she? Yeah. But you don't really know the intellectual side. A lot of Tauruses have this issue. And I think we like the air signs because their minds, just what we're talking about, our air. And they can see and envision things that we like. Um, but that, that doesn't necessarily mean it's, it's a good thing. Again, it depends on the person, but for a lot of earth and air signs, it's not always a good thing um, because we just, our elements are different. And, and let me take that back. All the elements are different, but there's no, just air, it's wind blowing on the dirt. It's not really doing anything to the dirt. If you add water to dirt, what you got? Mud. You can get any kind of consistency of mud depending on how much water you have. If you're with an Aries, that's a fire sign. You know, we used to, all of us have seen the ground catch fire. I'm just saying, we've seen it. We've seen, we build fires on the ground. So there's something there with those other two elements that is not necessarily here with, um, with air. So with that said, be mindful you know, and before you get into a relationship with somebody, you know, you're not just finding out what their sign is, but just kind of see where they are. Um, and, and if their air can add something to your earth, maybe it can, maybe it can't. Or if somebody's fire can add something to your earth, you always want to look and have that compliment feature there with whomever you're with and how, however it resonates but in particular when you're dealing with the elements it's always good to look at you know what happens when you mix elements so if you with an air sign you know what happens to the earth uh, eh, yeah well huh um something to think about but just knowing this instance it's not personal it's not personal Taurus, I love you. I hope you guys have a good rest of the weekend. I will talk to you soon. Bye, y'all.